SBR videos are sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Hi, right, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing Week 10 in the NFL. We're talking right now with returning guest Jeff Cadillac from jeffcadillac.com, who got off the schneid and finally gave us a winner last week. Uh, thanks so much, Jeff Cadillac, for that winner last week, and thanks for being back to us this week. Thanks for having me, Peter, and it's good to get off the schneid. Absolutely. Oh, God, being on the schneid. Worst thing ever. Worst thing in the world. All right, so how did you do this past week at uh, jeffcadillac.com? Well, I did all right, but I, you know, I'm always looking to do better. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of a lot of games, you know, were decided like in the last minute or right in over in overtime. And uh, some games, you just, you know, no matter what, you flip a coin. Sure. Sometimes, I mean, not that I do that, right, right, but no. you know, if you did, sometimes you'd come out ahead. No, the NFL lines are very, very tight, and uh, JeffCadillac.com is Jeff Cadillac's website. All right, the first game we're going to talk about here: Cincinnati at Baltimore. You know. <sighs> kind of an interesting matchup. Baltimore lost to Cleveland last week off the bye. You know, they clearly don't have the same kind of presence and swagger as they did last year. And Cincinnati, they lost to a flawed Miami team on Thursday. And, you know, the deal with Cincinnati, they have weapons on offense. They have a capable defense. It's just Andy Dalton. When you get the good Andy Dalton, Cincinnati's a great bet, and they tend to get uh, big wins when they have a, you know, when you get the crappy Andy Dalton, they just give games away to, to any team and definitely not the kind of team you want to bet on. I'm looking at this. I'm thinking... I'm going to go with a bet on, uh, you know, that we get the good Andy Dalton. I'm thinking Cincinnati minus one or minus one and a half might be the way to go here. What do you think? I happen to agree with you, Peter. Okay. I think this is a, this is a big bounce back week for Cincinnati. Uh, that game on Thursday night, I definitely was disappointed with them against Miami. I mean, it looked like they played not to lose the game. Right. And then in overtime, they lost. Uh, you know, after that great performance against the Jets where they totally blew them out, the next week, they looked lifeless. They went into Miami. Everybody probably thought they were a favorite. I thought they were a favorite. I thought the three points, and especially at the end of regulation, when they were up 2017, but they let Miami just go right down the field and kick a, a game-tying uh, field goal. I mean, what was the defense thinking? They knew it was only a three-point game with, like, a minute to go. Uh, so, you know, this week I see a good bounce back for Andy Dalton. I see him to have a good game against uh, Baltimore. Baltimore is just not the same team that right. won the Super Bowl last year. I mean, they were on a three-game losing streak. I mean, they lost to Cleveland last week with Jason Campbell. I mean, Jason Campbell, he basically tore up the defense last week in, uh, against Baltimore. I mean, he had three nice touchdown passes. He had no interceptions. Uh, they did put a little pressure on him, but not enough to really turn the game around. And, you know, Cincinnati, here's the matchup that I like for Cincinnati. Cincinnati has the 10th running uh, defense and Baltimore this year has the 29th rush offense. Right. I mean that that tells me right there that the offensive line is not doing the job for Flacco and company. Or just that Ray Rice is just uh, still injured from uh, is still hurting from from the injury he had in week two. That and and somebody and nobody else has, has stepped up in their place. I mean you know and you're right about Andy Dalton. You know there's some weeks he looks great. There's some weeks you don't know what's going on. But they have beaten Green Bay, New England, Detroit, the Jets. These are all teams that are above 500. Uh, Baltimore, you know, they've beaten Cleveland, Houston, and Miami. You know, that's nothing really to write home about. You got 500 and less down there. And, and you know, I, I, I just don't see it for uh, Baltimore. It's just not the same team. Um, I like it, it. I think it's going to be a very close game because Baltimore does play a close game. But I would definitely lay the one and a half points here and say that uh, Andy Dalton has a nice comeback week, and he does beat uh, Baltimore in Baltimore. All right, yeah, i got to say I have to agree with you. And you can also get minus one, which is a widely available number as well. Jeff Cadillac, like in uh, Cincinnati, minus one, and betting that uh, Andy Dalton will not find a way to uh, give, the way, give the game away again this week. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you, Peter.